Hi, I'm Ricky Morehouse. I'm a cloud architect for IBM API Connect. And today I'm going to talk to you about our new Lambda integration in our API Connect SaaS service on AWS. So using Lambda with API Connect, we've implemented this as a policy that you can add to your API assembly, which lets you build out your APIs around numerous different AWS services and then manage them all with central lifecycle management in API Connect and socialize them with your API consumers through our developer portal. The security model that we've got is as follows. So in the, the API Connect service is running in our own AWS account, and we have a well-documented API Connect service role, which you can find in our documentation. It's different for each region that's used for assuming the role that is provided for Lambda invocation. Over on the customer account, so on your account, you would set up a Lambda invocation role, which is they're deliberately designed for API Connect to assume in order to invoke the Lambda policy within your account. So on that, we'd set up the principle for that to be this role over here, the API Connect service role, um, so that it's for us to assume. And then the external ID that we'd specify there would be the provider org ID for your particular instance of API Connect over in a uh, service. Then you'd give it the permissions just to invoke the function. Um, of, of the Lambda, you can either specify all Lambda functions within your account or a specific list of functions, depending on what you need. Then the AWS Lambda function itself would have an execution role as it does normally, which is used to grant Lambda the permissions to other services within your account that it needs to call to carry out its function. Then when you've got the API assembly on the gateway tab, you can see that we've got the Lambda showing up in the policy palette and you can drag it across and edit it from there. You specify the role to assume. Um, you can use the access key and secret access key, but the preferred route that's more secure is the assume role. Then you provide the name of the function that you've created and the AWS region in which the Lambda function is displayed deployed, which doesn't have to be the same as your API Connect instance. Then if you're using versioning or aliases, you can specify that as to which version you want the API to use. Over in the role configuration, we've got, as I described, the principal pointing to the API Connect services role, which you'll find in our documentation, and then the org ID for your provider org within the service as the external ID to ensure that only your instance of API Connect can use this role. Then you've got the policy for the role to say what it's allowed to do within your account, which would be invoke a Lambda function and then specify what criteria to determine which Lambda functions you can use with that role. So now I'm going to give you a quick demo of how this works. And in the demo, we've got two AWS accounts that are part of this. So we've got account A, which is where the API Connect service is running. And then we've got account B, which would be your account or the customer account. <coughs> so over in the customer account, we've got a set of Lambda functions that we've created. And what I'm going to start with is a simple echo function. <coughs> and if we have a look at the code I've got here, it just takes in the event details and then outputs it as the response. So you basically return what you put in. So if I look at the test event I've got here, I've just got three key value pairs within the Lambda test event. And if I test that, we'll see that it takes those in and responds with them, just as you'd expect for an echo function. Over in IAM, I have a look at the role that I've set up for this. This is the APIC EU West demo. Um, and down here, we've got it set up to use the policy invoke Lambda, which allows it to run invoke any Lambda function within my account. And then in the trust relationships, I've got it set up with the principle of our API Connect role, specifying the region that API Connect is deployed in. And then the external ID is set to be the org ID of the instance that I'm going to use for the demo. So let's copy that as we'll need that when we set up the API in API Connect. So let's start by creating a new API. Got nothing there, so let's add our new API. And we're going to go for a new open API. And I'm going to call this Lambda example. That's what I'm doing there. And we'll secure it using client ID. And then let's go in and edit that and have a look how to use the Lambda policy. 
So let's jump straight over to the Gateway tab. The default on a new API is to give you this invoke policy here, but as we're going to use Lambda, we don't need that. So let's remove that and instead add in the Lambda policy into the assembly flow. I'll paste in the assume role that I want to use. And then the function name in this case is echo and the region US East 1. So that's all set up. Now, if we save the changes to the API, we should then be able to make it available online on the gateway, which will deploy it into the development sandbox, which is somewhere we can go and just play around with the API and make sure it's working before we publish it to our main catalog. So let's have a look at this in test. As we are expecting a body, we'll need to use one of the operations that would typically have a body. In this case, I'll use post. And I'll just use the sample hello world. And then we'll click send to invoke that API on the gateway. And we see there that it's come back as expected with the echo response, which is called the Lambda function and returned it. So now I'm going to move on to a slightly more advanced example. In this case, I've got the Amazon Open Search service deployed within my VPC. And I've got a Lambda function configured to be able to talk to that Open Search service within the VPC and get data back. So we'll jump over to the Lambda function, and this time it's called Open Search VPC example. And in this case, I've written this in Python, and we can see we're just doing simple request to HTTP to the VPC endpoint of the Open Search service to the, get the cluster health, and we're going to return the status code and the JSON health status in the body. If we test this from within Lambda, we see we get the body with the cluster status as we'd expect. And if we look over here at the configuration, we can see that it's configured to talk to this VPC, which is where my open search service is deployed. So then let's go over to API Connect. Um, we'll copy the name of the function. And we're going to modify this existing API in this case in the Gateway tab to use the new a uh, Lambda function. So we've got open search VPC example there instead of echo. We'll save that. And then we'll jump over to the test tab. This time we'll use a get because that's all this one expects. Click send. And then we'll see that this is coming back with the status of the open search service cluster as we'd expect. Now there's a couple of simple things that you can do using our Lambda integration but there's much more you can do with many different AWS services or your own endpoints, either within a VPC or in your own infrastructure. If you've not used API Connect before, you can find us on the AWS Marketplace. Just search for IBM API Connect and you can start a free trial or sign up and purchase. Thanks for listening.